Hey guys, if you like my videos, click on subscribe and give me a like. And don't forget the bell so you can get notified of new ones. Hey everybody, Dale here. In this video, I have an HP 15 touchscreen laptop. It's a little older one, maybe about four or five years old. Uh, it's got a regular hard drive in it. I'm going to replace it with a brand new Samsung 250 gig 860 Evo solid state drive. Put a little more pep or speed into this thing. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to close the lid. Flip it over. You're going to get access to the hard drive. I'm going to take out the screws. I've already taken out most of the screws, but I've got to finish taking out this plate here for memory access. Those don't actually come out. Taking out the screw for the optical drive, we're going to slide that out of there just like that. And on these, you got to remember, I've already taken these out, but there's three those little flat screws over here you have to remove. And of course, first thing first, we got to get rid of the battery. Uh, slide that out, get it out of our way. No screws back here. And flip it back up. Now again, you can use a plastic spudger tool or your fingernail, just don't stick a screwdriver in here, but we have to separate it right here at the seam along the front, right here. As I always start usually over here, it's pretty usually pretty easy. Get a little spudger in there. Before we go any further, I'm, now that I got that broke loose, I'm going to get the keyboard out. And you just have to start along the top edge right up here. Got a very, very, very thin tool here. Get it in there. Screen out of the way. See if you can get started on one side and get your finger in there and hold it. It usually comes out without too much trouble. Just like that. Pick it up and flip it over. We got to release the keyboard ribbon right here. Uh, use my little poker here. Flip that little bar up. Careful not to break it. Slide that out. Now we got the keyboard out of there. And underneath here, we got five screws that we're going to remove. Start with one right here. We're going to lift this top panel off, basically. Over there. Thank goodness for magnets. Jeez. Daydreaming here. Sorry, folks. So anyway, we're going to lift. Close this so it don't fall over. This usually unsnaps. Sometimes this is a little difficult back here. You want to get your little plastic spudger tool on there and gently get it started at the hinge area back here. Usually it comes off easy, but sometimes it don't. So we have to disconnect these two little rib ribbon cables right here. Flip those up. This, this, this one here is for your power switch. This one here goes to your touchpad. And lift that up. There, we're going to move that out of the way. There's your palm rest. 
the hard drive's right here. So you, oop, on this model here, you have to take off this little I.O. board here because the hard drive slides underneath at the little rubber holders they have here. So there's one screw in the corner here that we have to take out and disconnect this over here, just like that. Get that, oop, move that back. Sometimes this a little trick. Oop, that came out easy. So we got to get that out of the way. And then the hard drive, we're just going to pick it up over on this end. Sorry, this end. You can see those little tabs there go underneath that little I.O. board that we just, just took out. So that's why you got to remove that. And we're going to disconnect the hard drive from the cable, just like that. Slide that back. Now we gotta take out four screws to get the hard drive out of this little cradle. It's pretty simple. Sorry about that guys, I cut myself. I keep that out of the way. Gonna remove the mechanical hard drive. Put the new Samsung solid state drive in there, just like that. Screw it back in. And then once I get it all back together, I'm gonna do a fresh clean install of Windows 10, 1903 edition. I already backed up all the personal data on that old hard drive. Once I'm done, I'm going to transfer the data back onto the new solid state drive once Windows is installed. Alright, so we got to get this back in there. I'll hook that cable back up. They got a little piece of tape on here. Kind of unnecessary, but. that's secure. Slide the front end first. Has to slide right in those little notches there. Get our I.O. board here. Carefully put that back in place. Just like that. Connect our ribbon cable here. Make sure it goes in firmly all the way. Lines up good there. So we got the new solid state drive in there. Now we're going to replace the palm rest. Just double check everything, make sure nothing came disconnected on you. Watch these cables here when you put it back in, they don't get trapped underneath. Or you can't get to them, basically. I'd like to snap the front back in here first. Just press it into place. See, it's not too difficult. I don't want to get it trapped underneath there. Put a little plastic tab in the way there. There's the other. Yeah, that one slid right in for me. So make sure they're in all the way. Nothing worse than getting it all back together. One of those aren't in, then you gotta take it all apart. That's no fun. Power switch hooked back up there. Oop, I ain't great. There it goes. Just like that. I'm going to use a manual screwdriver here to put these back in. I don't want to over tighten these. Just going into the motherboard basically. The 
This isn't too big of a job, but putting a solid state drive in an older computer like this, I tell you, it makes a huge difference. Alright, so we're secure here, here, we got all five screws back in, good to go here, these I just kind of flip it around, just slide back in there, a real easy way to do this, sometimes these are stubborn, you got to get it in the right spot. Kind of an upside down cable basically. Get one side in, but the other one, ah, this one's going in. There it goes. See, it's all the way in, so then use two fingers to push this down on each end because it's so long. So that's nice and secure. So we'll clip this over and push in the corner ones here, snap them back in. nice and even across there so there we got the hard drive or the solid state drive in there it's just a matter of putting our screws back in booting up our windows 10 media flash drive doing a clean install and that's it so i'm glad you watched i hope that was helpful and don't forget to subscribe and give me a like and come back for more videos y'all have a great day